Hello, it is Acacia Developer here, and welcome to episode 4 of the First Person Controller series. In this video, we're focusing on walking and running. So by the end of this tutorial, you should have an FPS controller that is able to run. So before we get into any programming, let me begin by explaining what we're going to do exactly. So we're going to be smoothly interpolating the movement speed between our run speed and walk speed, depending on whether or not the run key is pushed down on the keyboard. So in the case that the run key is pushed down on the keyboard, we want to smoothly interpolate our movement value to our run speed value. Otherwise, if it's released, we want to lerp it back to the walk speed value. Now, I just mentioned lerp. We're going to be using a linear interpolation to smoothly transition between these two states. And we'll factor in another variable, which is called the run buildup speed. And this simply dictates the speed in which our value interpolates between the walk speed and the run speed. So in the player move class, I'm going to declare a few fields that we'll need for this tutorial. The first field is going to be the walk speed. So this is going to be a float. This is going to be the walk speed. The second one is going to be the run speed. And then under here, I'm going to declare another float. And this is going to be called run buildup. And of course, we also want a key code that stores the button we should push to run. So I can copy my jump key down here. I'm just gonna paste it up here and rename this to run key, like so. Now if we scroll down uh, the player move class, I'm going to create a new function down here. It's gonna be private and called set movement speed, like so. I then just want to make sure that set movement speed is uh, called from the player uh, the player movement method up here. Then in the set movement speed function, I want to check whether or not our run key has been pushed down. So this is uh, for as long as the button is pushed down, whatever button that may be. I'm planning for it to be shift. Um, so in this case, if the shift key is pressed, then the movement speed is going to be equal to mathf.lerp. And what are we lerping? We're lerping the movement speed toward our run speed because we're pushing the run key and we want to run. And then of course, like always, we pass in time.delta time and we can multiply that with our run uh, buildup. And in fact, I just want to scroll up here and just make this a bit more explicit. So I'm going to call it run buildup speed. Um, so, and then below this, I'm going to put an else. So in this case, uh, the run key is released. If this is the case, I can just copy and paste this line down here. Then instead of lerping toward the run speed, we want to lerp toward the walk speed instead. So now in the Unity editor, if we look at the inspector, we now have our walk speed and run speed fields. Now up until now, we've been using our movement speed to customize the move speed of the player. But in this case, I'm going to transfer this six over to the walk speed now. So this is going to be our default walk speed. And I'm gonna make our run speed something like 10. So now you may have realized that we don't need direct access to the movement speed anymore. So back in the player movement script, if we scroll up, we have our serialized field attribute on our movement speed, and we can simply delete that and just keep that as private without the attribute. And that means that it just won't appear in the inspector anymore. And then of course, the last two fields to customize is our run key. So I'm going to use left shift for this. So I'm just gonna keep typing L until I find left shift. There it is, and press enter. The run build up speed, I'm just gonna set this to maybe something like four for now and just see what happens. So I've just set my slope force to six that we implemented in the previous tutorial because it was on one. So I was bouncing down slopes, but now I've got that fixed. Whenever you're moving and you push down the shift key, uh, the player starts to move considerably faster. 
and of course the speed can be changed so in this case it's 10 let's turn it up to something stupid like not 30 but maybe 25 so we can actually see a noticeable change in the speed yep and as you can see we are running considerably fast and the run build up speed if you wanted to make it considerably slower we could decrease the value to maybe like two one or two maybe one and as you can see the speed up when we hold shift the speed up and the speed down as well is considerably slower well anyway i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you find my content useful then feel free to like and subscribe and like always i shall see you soon